Hello there my friends and welcome back to another price prediction or maybe projections the better word video here on TA with K. My name is McKay. Today's price projection video, we're going to be talking about the coin Hedera or HBAR, H-B-H-R. This was actually a video that was requested by somebody on the YouTube channel via the comment section. So keep in mind, if you're watching these price projection videos and you've looked through my price prediction playlist of the videos I've made so far, and you're not seeing a token that's inside the top 100 or just outside of it, and you'd like me to make a video about it, you can leave a comment and I will do so. Also, it may interest a few of you that we have a free telegram group that we have about 50 60 members in I leave the link in the description of every video I put in you're welcome to join that group uh, we've got about 10 to 15 pretty active members we discuss obviously crypto as it's a crypto related channel but then we also just talk life stuff sometimes a um, bunch of mature awesome human beings in that group so if that's something that interests you it's obviously completely free you're welcome to join that hop in there talk to some of the members or ask myself any questions that you might have and if you haven't already please consider liking and subscribing to the channel as it helps it to grow and push it to a wider audience and with all that out of the way let's discuss hbar Alrighty, so the first place we're going to start, as we always do in these price projection videos, is actually here on CoinGecko.com. We've looked up the coin Hedera or HBAR, and what we're looking to write down to apply to our formula is the current position rank at the time of making this video. That would be number 36 for HBAR. We also want to write down the circulating supply, which is this 35.75 billion number here. And then we want to write down the total or max supply, which in this case, they're both 50 billion. And the reason we need those numbers is we want to try to do our best to do some research to find out what the circulating supply could be at or around the time we plan to sell the token, just because it will make a difference on the potential price projections. So as has been the case with almost all of my recent price projection videos, this one being no different, HBAR is another token that seems to have kind of a tougher to figure out circulating supply as far as when to expect it to increase. Now, this is a Reddit post from a year ago where somebody posted one of their original 15 year release schedules. And you can see here that it was supposed to be, uh, it, was, it was launched in 2018. It was supposed to take 15 years for all 50 billion tokens to be in circulation. You can kind of come down here and see they were releasing between five and 6% each year. Some years a little bit more uh, as it went on, it got pretty consistent right around five. Obviously the first few years, which is normal for a project, they were releasing more. However, we're in year six and by this chart, which is outdated, they should have only had about half the tokens released you know, to circulation. Instead, they've jumped ahead, they've released some ahead of schedule, and we're more like around 70%, which is like year nine instead of year six. So that does kind of give us a little bit of a predicament as we try to come up with the exact number we want to use for our formula. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is go off what their current schedule is and say that they'll probably release somewhere around 5% into circulation over the next 12 to 15 months. Uh, they could go a little bit more than that, but we're going to go ahead and assume that not all the tokens will be sold at the same time. Therefore, if we just add 5% to the circulation, circulating supply as it stands now. It should give us a pretty safe number to use for our formula as far as what the potential price you know, predictions could be. So hopping back over here to coingecko.com, all we're gonna do is take this circulating supply they have listed here as 35.759, which is just under 35.76. So we're gonna take 35.76, we're gonna plus 5% of 50 billion, which of course would be 2.5 billion, right? And that's gonna give us a number of 38.26 billion, and that's the number we're gonna use for the formula in today's video. And finally, if you stuck with me to this point, you'll be glad you have, as we're finally on to the exciting part of the video. We're here on my Google Sheets document, which I leave a link in the description of every video, or every price projection video anyway, that I put out. Now, for those of you that are new to my videos, you're not gonna know what you're looking at here. It's basically a formula I've come up with where we're taking position ranks and coming up with projected market caps and so on and so forth. However, I'm going to roll a two minute clip or so for those of you that are new to the videos, you're going to want to listen to that so you can see what you're looking at here, where I've come up with these numbers and how. The rest of you that have watched my price projection videos already can use the timestamps below to go ahead and skip ahead uh, to the next part roll it. What you're looking at right now is my Google Sheets document. I will leave a link in the description of every one of these price projection videos that I put out. Now I have a full length video that goes over exactly how I came up with all of this, but just to save those of you the time that probably won't watch that, let me just give you a brief explanation here quickly of how this works. First, what we have here is projected or hypothetical Bitcoin prices ranging between 91,000 and 180,000. And below that in green, we have projected total market caps for all of crypto. That would include Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the rest of the altcoins. Up here in a light brown color on the top left, 
left, we have projected dominance for each of Bitcoin and Ethereum. For those of you that are new to what that means, all it is in a nutshell is what percentage of the overall crypto market cap or these total numbers will Bitcoin and Ethereum actually take up themselves. Then just below the Bitcoin and Ethereum dominance, we have a total three projection, which will be the leftover percentage that would be divided amongst the rest of the altcoins not named Bitcoin and Ethereum. So it'd be 35% of these each individual projected market caps that would be divided amongst all the rest of the altcoins. And then just below the green projected market caps for crypto based on those Bitcoin prices, we have the most important part of this video, which is these individual projected market caps for each position inside of the top 500, positions three through 500. And although not perfect, though nothing ever is when you're trying to project prices, the way that we came up with these is we just looked at the end of the last borrow run when crypto peaked, and we looked at each individual position and figured out what the percentage of the overall crypto market cap at that time each position took up, which is what these represent here in orange. So then of course from there, we just applied that percentage to these overall crypto market cap projections, which then gave us projected market caps for each of these individual position ranks. Whew, all right, big breath. And then last but not least, if we go over here to formulas, all we have to do then do is take one of those projected market caps, divide it by the circulating supply of the coin or the projected circulating supply of the coin at the time you plan to sell, and that'll give you a price projection for that coin. That would of course give you a projected price based on ranking. Just below that, you could actually give a projected ranking based on price. You could have a price target for your coin times that by the circulating supply, which would of course give you a market cap, which you could then compare over here on the chart and figure out what ranking would likely need to be possible for your coin to reach that price. All right, so what I like to do on these videos is I like to do the math on the formula for the first price projection just in front of you so you can see how I'm doing this in case you later wanna apply it yourself to this coin or whatever other coin you'd like. And then I'll just present the data for some other possible point uh, position rankings for HBAR. So the first thing we're gonna do is scroll down here to position number 36. Uh, we look across from that, we can see these different projected market caps in red. The first one we're gonna use is 8.3 billion. Now again, the, the circulating supply is gonna be the important number in this calculation. So we wanna write that down. So I'm gonna use this little highlighter tool I have here and we're gonna write it down over here so I don't uh, forget it. It's gonna be 38 point, uh, it's gonna be scribbly looking and I apologize, 38.26 billion. And that way I can just look over and see that. We're gonna pull up the calculator now and that first market cap projection across from position 36 was 8.3 billion. So we're gonna take 8.3 billion and then we're gonna divide that by the 38.26 billion. And that's gonna give us our first projected price of 21, almost 22 cents. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go over these projections real quick that I have for HBAR. Now, keep in mind, as I go through these projections, you're gonna see something like this, where I have the position rank, in this case, number 36, right? If it stays put, you'll see these different market cap projections. I'm not gonna read each of these individual prices for Bitcoin, uh, 91K, 100, 115, 130, 150. You can pause the video if you wanna look at those individually. What I am gonna give you is the average price between those five different Bitcoin prices, which is based on 117K Bitcoin, right? So at number 36, we have an average price of 28 cents based on 117K Bitcoin. If HBAR were to move up to position number 26 through 30, so the average of those positions, here's our different market caps. The average price for that would be 36 cents, which again is based on 117K Bitcoin. And then the last projection that I have for HBAR, which I think is kind of the ceiling in my own opinion anyways, is position number 20. And that would give us an average price of 57 cents, which once again is based on 117K Bitcoin. And now quickly before I give my own personal prediction for HBAR, I just wanted to present that data for you here on the actual chart for TradingView. So we have a yellow, a blue, and a red line, each representing those different prices we just talked about and position ranks. So at position number 36, 28 cents, that would be about a 3X from where we are now. Position number 26 through 30 at 36 cents would be something like a 4X. And then of course, position number 20 at 57 cents, which is a little more of a bullish projection from where we are now would be about a 7X. And then just to wrap up today's video, what is my personal prediction or projection for the price of HBAR for this bull run? Well, if we zoom in here on my green horizontal line, I have it ending up somewhere between position 31 and 40, which is, which is actually where it is now. Now my projections for these videos is based off $115,000 Bitcoin, just because that's where I project Bitcoin to top out at or really close to that. Again, that's just 
my own opinion as well as my price prediction here, which for H bar would be right around 23 cents, which at the time of making this video would be right about a 3x. Uh, if you're curious what kind of a percentage gain that could potentially be, we can also zoom in on that. It'd be about 173%. Now, keep in mind that this is just my own personal projection for HBAR. I don't know the fundamentals on the coin. If you have belief in this coin and you believe it can go higher for its position or you believe Bitcoin's gonna go higher, that's why I made the Google Sheets document so that you can use that, punch in your own numbers and get your own prices. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you guys could do me a huge favor, for those of you that haven't, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, as of course it helps it to grow. And also, if you're enjoying these price projection videos, there should be a playlist and another video popping up on your screen now. You're welcome to watch. And as always, remember, invest in yourself. 